I think it's more of a maverick. Uh, it's not so defined or process driven. I think that when you have a brand and a product, you have more of a strategy where when you get to a celebrity, you have a almost a spiritual beast that you are um, trying to uh, continue a journey with. Um, and I think that therefore it needs, in actual, if anything, cleverer, smarter, quicker thinking. I think you, you touched on a point before as well, in that a celebrity is a person um, and as such is unpredictable. One day they can be doing what they've said they're going to do and ne the next day they can go off the rails and do something completely crazy, but yet they're, they're known as a household, you know, that they're known as this family man, for example, and they go off the rails and have an affair and do something terrible and you've got to kind of control that. And I think you've got to think in your feet. You've got to be quick. You've got to be fast-paced with it all. You've, I'm not. I'm struggling now with the words. But it's 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 it's, it's about. You, you can have a strategy in place, but crisis or disaster can happen, and you just need to be ready to react to that as quick as you can. I think everybody is a celebrity, um, and I think that because everybody has a social status uh, in certainly in British culture, because we are a small island of. Uh, we're, it's no more than a hairdressing convention. Uh, we all love a gossip, we all love a rumour, and I think therefore we, we all, whether we like it or not, we all have a some kind of celebrity status. Uh, obviously, I think that uh, some people see a, a career in it, and some people want to develop their skill or their talent to a degree where they have a celebrity status, like it or not. So, um, yeah, I think arguably, we all have a small celebrity status, and some people have a higher status uh, who some enjoy it, some don't. Defining what a celebrity is is very difficult nowadays as well, because you have people who are actors or musicians, but then you have reality stars, you have models, you have people who are famous through YouTube. I, I, I went to a convention just the other day um, with one of my clients, and they, they had a queue of about a thousand people waiting to meet these people who are famous from YouTube for just doing stupid videos where they make sounds and do weird things, but they've got a following, they're famous, but will that carry on? Will it, will it make the money? I don't know, but for now they're famous. I think kind of anyone can be a celebrity. Was that the Fabulous Nobodies? No, no I, I don't know what this is. But... There's, a, there's a group on YouTube who call themselves the Fabulous Nobodies. They've been flown have over. A, have a notoriety on YouTube and have a huge fan base and nobody knows who the hell they are. So they dress up in masks and do ridiculous things, and yeah, the fabulous nobodies. And I mean, listen, if the fabulous nobodies are celebrities, then listen, we all are. I think a, uh, I think a talent. I think authenticity, and I think a relevance to a value that the consumer understands. So what we're saying is that it's all well and good, nobody wanting to be a celebrity, but. Nobody is never going to be a long-term long celebrity. People do need to have a value uh, over and above uh, the normal uh, consumer. They need to have a, an authenticity and they've got to have a talent. Yeah. So I think that there are some core, actually, there are some core elements that people have got to have to become a celebrity. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I don't think we'd ever really take on someone who wanted to become a celebrity. I think in order to take on a celebrity PR, you need to have an element of celebrity already, whether that is that you have a story that's come out in the press for whatever reason. It could be that you're a lottery winner, you're this, you're that. But likewise, if, you've got a, if you are an actor, a singer, and you've got a product to promote, that's when celebrity PR really comes into f its fruition, I think, and, and it's, it's, it's strongest in that you can help to drive sales, you can help to raise profile of the, of the show, of the person, and, and all of those elements that you talked about, I think, are what make an interesting mm -hmm. celebrity. Mm -hmm. and, and listen, you know, some celebrities really do get publicity. They really do. You can brief a celebrity to give five different stories, and they will give you five different stories to oh. five different media. You know, a lesser celebrity will just repeat the same story five times. So, listen, mm. there, are, there are degrees of understanding within celebrity of media relations. I think, you know, I think that we're, as I said, we're a nation of, 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 of hairdressing convention. I think that we are obsessed because of our very culture. I think that we're, we, we are governed by a class system where everybody wants a bigger, better life for themselves. 
And I think that that comes about from raising their social status, which means that they like it or not go into a celebrity, a small form of celebrity status. I think that it's at our very core of British psychology and culture. Celebrity status is overtaken by the US for different reasons. But I think that in Europe and certainly, you know, major parts of the world, celebrity culture is, is massive. But I think that it's, it's governed by the very core nature of British culture. And I think that, you know, even politicians, like it or not, they are becoming celebrities. Uh, you know, musicians, artists, film, we've always seen as you know, the gold, since the golden days of Hollywood, they've all become, they become celebrities. But I think that, you know, even, I, I notice even you know, people just on the street just have an obsession with their social networks now and their, uh, their, their need, want and need to be understood and recognised more. And that comes down to a basic level of, you know, arguably a celebrity is when we have a bigger, better understanding of you over and above the person you are the values you represent, and I think that, you know, who wouldn't want that? So, like it or not, I think we're all celebrities. Uh, yeah, I mean, we are, we <laughs> are to a degree, but I think one of the biggest appeals is still the aspirational element of celebrity, and the, the illusion that it looks like an easy world, it looks like they get everything given to them, it looks to the outside eye that you're rich, you have a big house, mm -hmm. you have a fast car, you go on wonderful holidays, mm -hmm. you're snapped at all the best parties, what they don't see is the reality, and, that, and, and that's the hard work, that's the intrusion of privacy, that's the insecurity and everything else that comes with being a celebrity, but I think that's why we're obsessed by it, because we all essentially want to have those things. We all think that being on the cover of a magazine will make us feel good and better. And, and it, like you said as well, it's the whole social network thing as well, again with Twitter and Facebook. We're, you, you know, you're always putting up pictures of you having a wonderful time. Do you ever put a picture of you up on Facebook on a Saturday night, sat in on your own watching X Factor? No. I think there, the, 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 because, because here's the thing, is that I think celebrity is great and fine. However, it's not the status you achieve, it's the cost getting there. And what we find with some celebrities is the cost of their success is too great. And therein lies the warning, which, mm. listen, you know, nobody heeds. It will always continue, because as our uh, channels of communication widen and develop and grow, whereas 60 years ago it was the garden fence, whereas 60 years later we, you know, have arguably have a newspaper, a magazine, a radio and a television, to today where we pick up instant alerts, on our iPhones. I mean, the channel, once the channels of communication are there to pass on information, rumour, gossip, mm -hmm. lies, truth, whatever, then I think celebrity will grow. And I think the channels are never going to reverse. We're never going to go back to a days where all we had was the garden fence and we talked about them opposite because they had a little bit more than what we had. Long gone. Ah, that you need to be willing to work hard. You need to know the media. You need to know and have a hunger to know the field of work you want to work in, whether that's celebrity, whether it's fitness, whether it's consumer or tech. I think it's, it, you need to be interested in what you're doing because actually a lot of what you're going to be doing isn't all that interesting. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's, uh, do you know what? I think, I think Larry will probably sum it up better. I think, first of all, tell your parents and guardians that you're going into a great business. It's a growth business. Yeah. You're not going into a engineering or retail, which has had its day. You're going into an amazing, interesting, exciting growth industry. Good decision, kids. The next thing is, is that you've got to have a real skill and a talent and an awareness and an understanding of people. You've got to understand how society works. You've got to understand how people react, behave, want to get on. Uh, what will motivate, what will demotivate. You've got to have so much more than just an average person in life. If you have a deep understanding of life and people and society, I think you can get on in PR if you can communicate 